Hello, my name is Kylie and I'm here to introduce the seven wineries that you will be visiting on the Langley Passport Tour. Today, here we are at the Vista Dora. This winery started making jams in 2002 to establish its name and then started making wines in 2007. My, both my grandparents came from large farms. Okay. We had 20 sections in Saskatchewan. Oh, wow. And then uh, a large piece over in central Lithuania. Oh, wow. So yeah. my grandparents that came from big farms, so I always heard the farm stories. Mm -hmm. So for me, it was just reconnecting back. Okay. So this is our flagship wine, which is the Doral. Mm -hmm. It was the first wine Patrick ever made. Mm -hmm. It's the 2007 vintage year. Okay. And it's made from our walnuts that grow here on the property. Really? And you have three walnut trees and it's okay. made from the green walnuts. Okay. So it's actually still considered a fruit. Oh. So we macerate those walnuts in, um, in brandy. Yeah. Oak barrels and brandy for about 15 months. Mm -hmm. And then the product that comes out of there we press. And we fortify our um, Cabernet Franc, Marshall Fourche and Merlot for that. Okay. And that's what comes out of it. So it's port style. It is 17%. It's a little stronger, really nice after a mm -hmm. meal. Really nice with cheese, dark chocolate, just on its own. Hello, we are at the Domaine de Chabreton, which is the oldest and largest winery in the Fraser Valley, and I'm here with Linda to try a little tasting. So what is it about the Domaine de Chabreton that is so special and with their wines? What is? Well, um, we grow about six different varietals of white wine okay. here. Mm -hmm. We started our winery in 1991. Mm -hmm. Our uh, owners came over here from Europe in the early 80s, purchased the land, and um, found out that this land is suitable and perfect for certain uh, German varietals that they've grown here. Okay. Yeah. And what is one of the Domaine de Chabreton's signature wines? Well, Bacchus is our signature wine mm -hmm. on our property. We grow about 30% of our vineyard in this. It grows really well here. Our vines are old. They're about 30 years old now. Wow. And uh, yeah, it's just perfect for our climate here. Very similar to that of northern France and Germany. Okay. So it grows perfectly well here. Great. Yeah. Shall we try it? Yeah, we should. Cool. Thank you. Have a taste of that. And what does this wine go well with? This wine um, pairs well with any spicy food. It goes really, really well because it has a little bit of um, sweetness to it. It's related to a Riesling, but it's also really nice just on its own as a patio sipper and an aperitif. Oh, that is nice. Yeah. That's beautiful. It's delightful. It's mm -hmm. quite light. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. here with Jason at the Township 7 Winery. Hello everyone. It's so nice to be here. Thank, Thank you for you. having us. Yeah, sorry I uh, couldn't do anything about the weather today. I know, but it's still a beautiful day for tasting wine. The wine tastes Every the day same, is no a beautiful what. day for tasting wine. Absolutely. That's true. Yeah, so, that's true. what makes Township 7 uh, special and set apart from other wineries? Well, the one is we have two locations. So, okay. the one that we're at right now is Langley. This is where we started. And in 2003, we bought some property on the Naramata Bench, just outside of Penticton. That's oh. where we have our other location. So we're the only winery that has two, wow. two locations. Okay. So you can visit both. The wine's the same. It's the it's made mostly up there, right. but we have two locations. That's great. Yeah. And what are some of your signature wines? Well, the list grows and grows as we keep getting some nice, consistent vintages. But we're known as for Chardonnay and Merlot. Okay. Our, our winemaker's name is Bradley Cooper, and he makes great Merlot, great Chardonnay, and we are getting some accolades for other vintages as well. That's amazing. Yeah. So is there something that you can let us taste today? Oh, I can let you taste it all. On, oh. a, day like to, on a day like today, you right? got to make sure that you uh, try it all, and hopefully you all will try it all as well. <laughs> so um, we're, we're set up in this temporary location today, and if you hear any noises, it's construction that's going on in our new tasting room, which will be done if we fast forward a week, which will be done by then so uh, and if you wanted to we could always have a little look around in the construction beforehand but in the meantime uh, it's all about drinking wine so we're gonna get get a good a glass and let's start off with some Chardonnay here so this is our 2010 Chardonnay and this particular uh, wine was served actually to the Queen that's another kind of cool story in 2010 our 2007 vintage was blind tasted and picked to serve to the Queen at a dinner in Ottawa 
so when you drink it, you must act very regal and oh, put your pinky out. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> Otherwise, it gets taken away from you. So, uh, And this one has been oaked for 10 months. So you'll oh. notice that you're starting to get some oak, so nice. some caramel, some butter. It's uh, delicious. And, and you yeah. get delicious. Delicious is a, an official word you can use to describe wine. I was going to say, I don't uh, know if that's proper No, it's pr totally proper. It's yes, wonderful. delicious. Uh, yummy also will qualify and, and be quite a good, quite a good okay. word. So you can just say this is yummy and all those wine people will go, yes, it's yummy. <laughs> so, there you go. That's fantastic. That's great. Cheers. Thank yeah, well. Thank you. Yeah. So, it's, isn't it great? Yeah, this is, uh, this is a great one because we get a lot of people that say, I don't like Chardonnay, and they try this one, go, wait a second, I like this one, because it's not over-oaked. It's definitely starting to change the wine a little, yeah. it's getting a little smoother, it coats your whole mouth, mm -hmm. and you just get that lovely, a little bit of oak flavor, right. but then the butter and the caramel and those kind of yummy things that, see, yummy, it works. Yeah, absolutely. And, and those are the kind of things that come out with the wine perfect with some... Uh, maybe salmon with cream sauce or a nice oh, pasta or something along those lines. Yeah. yeah. Oh, you're making me hungry. Yeah. Wow. It's almost <laughs> almost time for lunch. Great. We're figuring out what we're going to have for lunch. So. That's fantastic. <laughs> well, thank you so much for your time. Oh, my pleasure. That's great. Cheers. Okay. You're at Backyard Vineyards, and I'm here with James, the head winemaker. And uh, what's the thing that makes Backyard Vineyards distinct from other wineries? Well, I think it's the atmosphere and, and that we're a very local um, company and winery um, to the Lower Mainland and to um, you know, people far and wide, but we're, we're literally in people's backyards and, and so we, um, you know, I mean, it's the, the atmosphere that people have and, they, and the feeling when they come here, I yeah. think that's what drives us, right? Cool. That, you know, they, they, they feel like, uh, you know, we're the neighbors. Absolutely. Yeah. And do you have a signature wine or something that's more popular at this time? Well, it's funny, we have a bunch of them that, um, I guess the two most popular would be our Nosy Neighbor Red and Nosy Neighbor White. That's um, great. Those are great news. Because yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, we, we are surrounded by, you know, our, our neighbors. But, uh, okay. Um, but um, they, are, they seem to be our most popular. Um, and they are both uh, a blend, um, so a red blend and a white blend. Okay. Um, you know, and then I suppose we make an excellent bottle so people you know can find us um, for that. Um, we also make a porch wine which are what we call porch wine which is a, a our, our ode to port um, so it's a fortified wine um, so I think uh, amongst the others um, it's, it's we have fans of just about uh, everything. So, uh, That's amazing. Yeah. That's great. Do you have something for me to try today? Sure absolutely yeah. I think we'll try a little 2010 Meritage. Nice. Um, Sure. Um, today we're uh, in the midst of bottling the 2012 Nosy Never Red. Okay. So, um, How many cases of that are you making? Uh, approximately you know, about 1,500 wow. or so. Good <laughs> so, job. Yeah, so yesterday we bottled Merlot, and so today we're um, our second day of Nosy Never Red. Oh, that's so nice. Yeah, it, um, nice. we source fruit uh, from here, mm -hmm. um, the site. Um, home site, the home farm, as I like to refer to it, is, is Pinot Noir, so that would be for our Blanc de Noir, uh, for our bubbles, and then we have a site in um, uh, Abbotsford that's much warmer, a place called Peppenbrook, and um, so we have a, some other varietals there, um, Pinot Gris, and a little bit of Sauv Blanc, some Gers, um, and Merlot, and also more Pinot Noir. Um, the rest we source from the South Okanagan. So the Cabernet Sauvignon, some Merlot, the Syrah, all come from there. Nice. Yeah. It's delicious. Yeah, it is very wonderful, yeah. yeah. Um, I like a lot of people. We we push um, I'm a Merlot driven uh, uh, marriage, right? Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. So it would be the predominant variety okay. in, the, in the mix. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. yeah, no, it's, it's so nice. Yeah, it's a more, much more presentable way of doing things. Yeah. So. That's amazing. Cool, well thank you so much for your time. Hello, I'm here at Co 
House Berry Farms with Alf, one of our owners, I assume. Yes. So good. And what is it that makes House Berry Farms different from other wineries? I understand this winery is new, just opened this past May 2013. So what makes this winery different than other ones? What makes a difference yes. is uh, two parts. One is we want you to have a great experience when you get here. Right. And so when you get here, you, you will see something very different. It's amazingly decorated, but to the saddles and everything. It's we great. want to invite you up, saddle up, and have a taste. I enjoy that. I'm a horse rider, so I'm at home. And then uh, we are food wine, okay. because that's who we are. Kraus Berry Farms and Estate Winery. So right. we've been growing berries for almost 40 years. So we do that. We think well, and uh, we, we thought it would be great to have a, a wine selection that goes with that as well. And yes, we are, we've been working on our wines for over a year and a half, two years now. And we started, and uh, the building finally got finished this May, so May was our grand opening. And uh, right now, now in August, we've got um, eight wines that, that we're, we can do tastings on. Okay. We are a little different, maybe. We do a $4 wine tasting fee right. for five wines, but you get that back on your bottle of wine that you purchase. That's great. So do. Yeah. Part of it is we do have a lot of a lot of uh, guests coming by our farm for all the other activities that we that we have on our, our state winery. So, so just to encourage um, people that really want to do it. Absolutely. So, what's something that I could try today? Something special, or what's one of your signature wines? We're, they're all special. Yeah. No, but um, so we, we have table wines. Right. And right now, strawberry. Uh, we have apple, uh, blueberry, and a, and a raspberry table wine. Okay. We, we're doing two sparkling, okay. as well as we're doing uh, uh, some dessert wines. And we have our little uh, best one is called uh, Blackberry Porto. But I think today, because we're celebrating you you being here, Thank we're going to do a sparkling strawberry. That sounds amazing. Uh, cool. And so all these strawberries are grown right here on the farm. And where do they go to be turned into wine? Right in the back. No way. Oh yeah, we no, do it all here. That's great. And um, we're having fun with, with our sparkling. We have a sparkling strawberry and a sparkling apple at this point. I think we'll have to do some. That color is amazing. It is, you, you'd think more red, but yeah, strawberries does give that orangey feel. And it is a celebrative thing. It smells very Oh, that is nice. Yeah, I mean the fun thing is that it's it's not a, you you get all the aroma of strawberry. Yeah. But not it's not a sweet wine. It's it's a nice dry. Definitely. Uh, that is very nice. Thank you. That's wonderful. So no, we've had great reviews on it. Yes. And we've been doing a lot of sampling. We're doing a big event here on the, uh, next weekend called Feast and Fields. Okay. And yeah. uh, and uh, definitely strawberry. That'll be Sparkling will be the served up there. That's amazing. Well, thank you so much for your time. This is absolutely beautiful. Well, thank so. you for coming. I yeah. hope to see you all soon. Great, thank you. Hey, we're at the Fort Langley Wine Co. with the Nets, and this is a special winery because it's all about fruit wines. So, what is something that special about the wine are you mentioned there's cranberries behind what's that about yeah so we have three cranberry based wines okay. um a white cranberry and a red cranberry table wine and then a red cranberry dessert wine oh, okay so we have the cranberry bogs here and then we uh get the rest of our food for all of our bcs so. okay and so there's no grape wines here no grape wines oh. like grape free yeah that's amazing so what's one of your most popular wines uh definitely our blueberry here in the valley girl okay. yeah so it's made from local blueberries and it's all the sweeter in it, so it does taste more like two. Okay. And it's just delicious. It's my favorite. All right. Should we give it a try? Definitely. That's awesome. So what are some things to pair this with? Or it goes great right with uh, dark meats, anything barbecue, okay. like salmon. Definitely. It also makes a really good sangria. So. Oh, yeah. so good. Wow. That is really good. Yeah, yeah. It's, like, it's it's not too sweet, but it's still yeah. Even for those drinkers that don't like sweeter wines, yeah. it's definitely still nice because it's such a nice. The color is amazing. So. Like that's just so deep. And, yeah, yeah. That's great. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for your time. Your house is a beautiful place. Thank you. Thanks. <laughs> Hi, 
I'm here with Carlos from Blackwood Lane Vineyards and Winery. And this winery also happens to be a favorite of Supernatural stars Jared Padalecki and Jensen Ackles. So, as I've been told by Carlos here, this glass is actually either Jared or Jensen's glass from their tasting they just had a little while ago, like less than five minutes ago. And so I just wanted to ask, what wine is this? What is Jared Padalecki's choice of wine here? This is Jared's favorite uh, wine, it's a Bordeaux blend. It's called the Allianz. Okay. It's a Black Blades Black Chef. Mm -hmm. So it's a blend of three different Bordeaux varieties. Cabernet Sauvignon, Merlot, and Tafra. Oh, nice. This is his favorite. Cheers. Cheers. Oh, I can see why he likes it. That is delicious. I know. <laughs> That's so nice. Yeah. So, what sets Black Lane apart from other wineries in the area? Um, it's the way we make wines, uh, all our wines, uh, chemical free. Okay. We don't use any chemicals. Mm -hmm. We actually let time to the aging on this on this on this wine so okay. it's very very special. So how so, old was this wine be? This is a 2007. Wow okay. And this is 2013. Right, so okay. So six, six years, years, right? Wow, okay. Yeah. And we're just we're just tasting with Jared the, the new 2008 okay. that's coming up very quickly. So you know we've got five years yeah. before we release the product. So that would be what to look out for for people coming oh, yeah. in the future. Yes. Absolutely. Fantastic. Well thank you so much. I'm going to enjoy every ounce of this class. Cheers. <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much.